Oh, so you want to learn a little bit about the NHL's history, do you, bud? Oh, yeah, bud. Well, we're going to school ya. As always, I'm John Jimson. And I'm Jim Johnson. And we're going to teach you a little bit about the expansion era in the National Hockey League. So, obviously, the NHL's been around for a little bit of time, right? A little bit. And it was before 1942 where there were the six teams kind of moving around, changing things, but it wasn't really established as a league until 1942. And we had the original six teams. They were Chicago Blackhawks, Montreal Canadiens, the Boston Bruins, Detroit Red Wings, the New York Rangers, and Toronto Maple Leafs. So, I mean, cool, but six teams, Jim, that's pretty boring, right? Not too many men on the ice, you know? Not at all. And I mean, you got a full season to lead up to the playoffs, and the playoffs, I mean, you're a team facing, what, two guys just to get to the Stanley Cup? The Cup of Cups? Big fish, small pond, John. Exactly. Exactly. So, let's take a look at the expansion. Began in 1967 when we got the Philadelphia Flyers. The Pittsburgh Penguins. The St. Louis Blues. Minnesota North Stars. The Kings in Los Angeles. And the California Seals. Two years later, we got the Buffalo Sabres. And the always defeated Vancouver Canucks. (laughs) In the 70s, NHL saw a ton of growth. In 1972, we got the New York Islanders and the Atlanta Flames. In 74, there was the Washington Capitals and the Kansas City Scouts. But the Scouts sucked, Jimmy. Eh? They were pretty sloppy, John. So only two years after they were developed, they moved to Colorado and became the Colorado Rockies. Probably a lot better for the players there. Definitely. And that same year, the California Seals moved to Cleveland and became the Cleveland Barons. That didn't last long either, because the following year, Cleveland moved up to Minnesota, where they merged with the Minnesota North Stars. 1979 saw a large expansion, especially in the Great White North, eh? Yeah, bud. We got the Hartford Whalers. The Quebec Nordique. Winnipeg Jets. And the Edmonton Oilers. Unfortunately, the next year in 1980, Atlanta moved their team to Calgary and became the Calgary Flames. And in 1982... The Colorado Rockies franchise had moved to New Jersey, where they became the Devils. And it took just shy of 10 years before any more, any more movement and expansion happened within the league. But the 90s saw a lot of expansion, and a lot of hockey teams were growing due to its popularity. In 1991, there was the San Jose Sharks. The Ottawa Senators and Tampa Bay Lightning in 92. In 1993, there was the Florida Panthers. Anaheim Mighty Ducks. And in the same year, the Minnesota North Stars had moved south and became the Dallas Stars. A lot of teams moved around in the following years. Uh, That's right, Jim. And the Quebec Nordiques had moved to Colorado Avalanche, where they had won the cup the following year. It's probably a better coach. Oh, and they had Patrick Waugh between the pipes. Oh, Patty. Then the Winnipeg Jets moved to Phoenix, became the Coyotes. Which... I find it a little strange, Jim. You, you, you grab a team straight out of the Great White North and just slam them in the desert. Introducing these boys to all the sand. She's pretty hard to skate on. And that same time, the Hartford Whalers had moved to Carolina, where they became the Carolina Hurricanes. 1998 saw the demand for a hockey team in Nashville and thus spawned the Predators. Which, I mean, <laughs> are they even a team, buddy? I don't even know, man. Oh, well, cheers. In 1999, Atlanta got another chance to host a team for the greatest sport in the world, and they started the Atlanta Thrashers franchise. After the millennia, we saw the birth of the Columbus Blue Jackets and the Minnesota Wild. Yep. Yeah. And this was the way that the NHL had looked for quite some time. It wasn't until 2011 when Atlanta blew it again. No surprise there, John. Not at all. Like, Atlanta, you gotta go to your hockey games, boys. With the high demand for Winnipeg to have a team again, the Thrashers had moved north where we got the Jets 2.0. And that's the way it looks now, boys. That's how she looks, and that's your lesson. Hope you learned a lot. NHL is forever expanding and continuing to be the greatest, arguably the only sport on earth. Arguably. Arguably. I'm John Jimson. I'm Jim Johnson. And as always, boys, girls, keep your stick on the ice.